I want to call you one. Is it okay if I call him one? Funky dog head, bitch. Like that, 
You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, we got to understand. Look, you throwing salt on that man's name, but y'all ain't said you and Oprah ain't said nothing about Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, Epstein. Now none of them white people who got caught doing all this and all that. But you making show you are Kelly's ass. You making show you just bringing up the bullshit about Kobe. He was acquitted that they threw that out. Oh, girl, they what did Weinstein about. get caught doing? I'm, 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 straight, I'm it's, it's women who say he straight took the pussy, rape, just straight took the pussy. And the other one saying like they, you know what I'm saying, set him up under the, for you to get this role act, you gotta go on ahead and do this, do that, you know what I'm saying, or you can't be in this movie. Mm. You ain't oh, casting couch shit that they do. They been doing that, they do it anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so they just tried to make him the poster creek for that shit too. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, back to the subject, it's like, on that Oprah and Gail shit, like, I mean, I just feel like they, they come to the, the, they play a long act, cause they, you know, the, the system always gonna try to tear down strong black men. For sure. Um, I, I just hate to say it, but they part of that system. And they ain't gonna really buck up at it, cause they getting that bread and got that fame. You know what I'm saying? And it's just good on for ratings too. It's something to talk about. Mm-hmm. And the way it shook up with him dying with his daughter, and then now all of a sudden that's one of the first things y'all really kind of address and throw out the. You know, I'm like, it, it was perfect timing for them to get their names back popping. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's one of them things they play that game. Well, as far as putting uh, one of the more elites of the white power structure motherfuckers on blast on front street. Weinstein. Right? Mm-hmm. Throw, that, throw a nigga out there. Right, because mm-hmm. Oprah do blockbuster movies and she, you know real what I'm saying? Talk. Her that appearances and shit like that cost big bucks. Yeah, that is real talk. People should get that about her. She has been in major ass motion pictures. She don't want to get her toes stepped on for her next role being cast at 20, 30 million because Oprah in it and half the country gonna go see it. And that would explain the relationship between the Weinstein and her filmmaker when she's an actress. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then Gail yeah, ain't nothing but a sidekick. Yeah, always have been. Under the real I, shit. I'm with her act. Real so shit. 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 That's just, I, they probably feel like they shacking Kobe. You know mm. what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a good one. Damn, that's fucked up. That was good. Hell yeah, that was a good one, boy. And speaking on Kobe, they talking about. See, see, it, it's it's some things I question about that. You know what I'm talking about? He in the sky. They talking about zero visibility because of fog, and he hit something. Okay. All right. If it was some, could have been a mountain. Let's. I mean, that makes sense. A mountain, right? But wait a minute. Ain't no aircraft gonna go in the sky and ain't got no sonar. And sonar, just for people who don't understand, is like what bats got. They do out a loud chirp, and they got to hear it bounce back so they know ain't shit in front of them. If they hear bounce back, they like, oh shit, some shit in front of me, and they go over it. So the goddamn sonar is on every aircraft, or your ass can't even go in the sky. So how is he in the sky, and they got no sonar, and just hit a goddamn mountain? But wait a minute. How is military and um, law enforcement told not to go in the sky, and his ass in the sky? How'd that go? So it's very questionable, a lot of shit about the Kobe uh, blow up. Mm-hmm. They might have blew him out of the sky. Who knows? I they mean, tell. Wasn't it a cartoon? Yes, that G. Predated the actual. I got the name of it. Activity. Let me tell you the name of this shit. The name of the damn uh, uh, shit is The Chamberlain Heights on Comedy Central. That's the name of the cartoon, mm-hmm. Chamberlain Heights. When they actually had Kobe in the helicopter. Yes, G. Fell out the shit. And was talking with the shits in his hand, like the rings. Yeah, yeah, the rings or something. He has the trophy. And the trophy. Trophies. Trophies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, the, the the Kobe situation. I think that's crazy. But all right, that's just, reaching. No, no, no. Because I, I I feel like when you got a, a brother that got that much power and got that much money and influence and something like. That's so regular for them. It happens. It's it's, it's kind of like the same thing. Like when you look at the Kevin Hart thing. Like how they were saying he was all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Right. It just be wow. Like okay, you telling me 
My man that damn near broke his back, killed himself. You know what I'm saying? On some, they been driving past cars and hitting these cars. You know what I'm saying? With nobody drunk or nothing. Like, nah, that sound a little weird. You know what I'm saying? That almost sound like some Paul Walker shit. I was trying to put Buddy on the t-shirt too, or was it a warning? Whatever. But stuff like that always makes me wonder. Like, damn. So that's just something the motherfucker was always doing, and then that happens. But at the same time, it's like, who's who's to say it ain't just happened? Because stuff I'm, be fucking up. Well, I'm looking at it from an angle that the cartoon could have been in a airplane, could have been in a spaceship, could have been jumping a motorbike and they crash. That's how I, I feel the same way. I feel like ain't no coincidence. That's too big of a coincidence. Ain't no coincidence. They, they, come we on, have man. history that show that they plan so Since far ahead. Cool. So y'all feel like it's like some Simpsons shit or something? The same way they shit. All that shit in them cartoons. Dude. Every damn near, every episode, it'd be some shit. 20 years later, that shit actually fucking happened. <laughs> but it is people that get paid to outthink. The way the average person think, you know what I'm saying? It is, it is a forward plan, like, and the reason a lot of people can't accept that, like, if a motherfucker don't plan out they week, or don't plan on what they doing for That's the year, they real real can't shit. grasp some, the concept of somebody having a 50 or 100 year plan for their ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Real shit, they can't even fathom that shit. That's real shit. <laughs> I mean, nobody gonna sit there and be doing you won't. <laughs> you won't even right. for you. Right. right. So you <laughs> That's the fact. Shit. Um, I definitely latch on to that. Okay. I definitely subscribe to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Thought exactly. process. Because history will show you that. But then they did this then and then did this then. Like we was talking about earlier. When it was niggas on crack and ba- and, and pregnant babies' mamas it was, it was, it was straight war like, we got to stop the swarm drug you gotta just ain't no these forces task force right. over here task force for this for that but this is a war huh? but now that it's drugs. now that it's uh, white folks it's opiate crisis mm-hmm. you calling that shit an opiate crisis mm-hmm. handling that shit with care that motherfucker's going mm-hmm. to motherfucking therapist and shit but niggas Oh man, niggas, now throw the book at them, put them under the fucking. Matter of fact, give them a three strike law, they keep selling this fucking crap. <laughs> that what they do. <laughs> hit them where it hurts, hit them where they all like gung ho cowboy. Mm-hmm. Oh, white folks is, hey, go there. Lay down, Catherine, Josh, just talk to you. That kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if you think about all that, that's probably like you said, there's a lot of it that's predestined by the people that's already set up to outthink the way the mm-hmm. average person thinking. Like, you know, we'll put out some addictive shit for them and call it this. Mm-hmm. And then we'll put out some addictive shit for everybody. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll call this one the black drug. We'll call this one the white drug. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we'll attack this one on this matter. And we'll attack this one on this front. All right. And, again, it's two different kind of attacks. Right. We'll do this one in this block of 20 years and we'll do this one in this block of 20 years because the people that control shit, they ain't, they don't lose power. It ain't like the Democrats and the Republicans don't got businesses together or work together or chill together or the kids don't go to school together. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like that. They like the police department and shit. They hang together. They be together. For sure. You feel me? So sure. I don't know, I just feel like it's definitely one of them things where people who have the power to put shit in place for the future already got it set up to where we'll do it like this and then we'll do it like that later on. Or we'll try it like this early on and then we'll come with it this way for the masses later and anything that got to do with us, we got to do it later. Let me say this last part about COVID. And we can move on because we got the brother here. We really want to, we really want to feel a lot of what this brother got. Cause this brother, strong brother. First, let him. I can feel his energy. Good brother. Yeah, yeah. Wait now, for the office. Step out, get a 
Break on through to the other side. The dark side. 